Quincy was buffed in the most recent update to BTD Battles 2 quite significantly as well. So we're going to be using him in today's video to see if he is finally good. So let's see if he's good or not. And let's see if we can win. So in case you guys don't know what exactly was changed to Quincy regarding this new 1.5 update, we can then go over the changes together right now. So first of all, the base cost was reduced from 500 to now 450. The level 10 Storm of Arrows hit chance increased from 5% to now 7.5%. Level 18 Storm of Arrows hit chance reduced from 75% to 10%. This was meant to be 7.5%, but had an incorrect value. And then finally, the level 20 Storm of Arrows hit chance increased from 10% to now 15%, all right? So with all that being said, will Quincy finally be the best hero in BTD Battles 2? We're here to find just that out with today's video. And by the way, he ended up getting the first blood on us, which is a bit unfortunate because we don't have a tower within our strategy that we can use in order to regeneralize. But we are in a ranked match currently in BFB Coliseum. So I'm kind of just going to hope and pray that this guy has intentions of rushing us because he just wants to increase his trophy count, right? That would make the most sense in my opinion. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to go for the cannon ship upgrade actually right now yeah we should probably just do that now should we just leave this on first targeting or is like last to play I honestly don't know because I don't use the boat all that much on this map uh, but what I do know is this strategy is actually fantastic I'm sure some of you have heard of it before but it's called the spoon oil strategy because spoon oil is the creator of this strategy right poke out spike factory it is so freaking good it's not even freaking funny the only kind of bad thing is we are on a less water dominant map uh with it me and mine and we only have so many boat spots on a map like this so that is of course a bit unfortunate but we'll, we can still make things work out trust the process i'm actually gonna go to um for emergent men i don't even know if this is the play necessarily we can't just yet uh, but once we have $1,600, we should be able to actually go for it here on round six, all right? And he's got the boat, too, within his strategy. you love to see it, all right? Not too many boat users uh, in BT Battles 2. Not that the boat is bad by any means. It's just kind of meh. But if you play really well with it, you can actually make it a fantastic tower because you've got things like the boat pool ability that can boat pool BFBs. Pirate Lord can boat pull ZOMGs. Can ship is pretty fantastic. Actually, I'm thinking we're going to need monkey pirates for the mid-game rounds, but can ship slash monkey pirates is a fantastic mid-game upgrade uh, to defend against pretty much anything. And then on top of that, we can buff it with the Alchemist Berserker Brew upgrade, all right? So that's exactly what I'm going to end up doing. He did the same thing, by the way, right? Went for Emergent over on his side. So during the mid-game rounds, I'm going to be rushing him just a tad bit, okay? Because this is a ranked match. And still, I would like to get this life advantage if possible, you know? And I'm going to probably stop Eco in here at about 800 Eco and then call it a day because I'm going to start saving up money now in order to better our mid-game defenses because, yeah, it's not looking all that good. Bro, we could Alk buff Quincy by the way that would be so freaking funny and that's actually not a terrible idea at the same time ladies and gentlemen so i probably won't do that because that's a bit risky and i don't want to play too risky with the strategy since i haven't used a strategy in quite some time so we're gonna play it safe and we're gonna play it the way that we know by going for an alchemist right here okay so let's go for that alchemist perfect so he went for the pirate lord dang it oh my god there's literally nothing i can do about that not a single freaking thing ladies and gentlemen so i went for a berserker brew on this alchemist right here so we should be good in that regard i think it's overkill if we go for the monkey pirates on top of that we might have to though um so i'll keep that on standby okay but we don't have cam detection either so let's go for the bottom pass so that we have that bro this guy is over defending like crazy overdrive and the monkey pirates on his side He's going to be absolutely chilling. Mind you, you also have the tax shooter, my friend. So you could just mail him against any mid-game rush that's not camo, okay? I mean, it wouldn't be smart of me to send a big camo rush because that honestly is just way too expensive. Uh, but it looks like still we are in the clear. He is not even equaling at us, okay? So maybe, maybe then just to play it safe, I should save up enough money to go for the Monkey Pirates, all right? He's putting a lot of money into his defenses, so he probably doesn't have that much money offhand. But at the same time, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I wanted to go for another merchant, man. You know what? Dude, there's no way. He's equaling out with just greens, too. This guy is like the most passive player of all freaking time. So I, I guess then we can actually go for a merchant, man. And each merchant man gives us $300 at the start of every single new round. So that, of course, is awesome. But 
Let's go for another merchantman here. We should probably now, though, start going or preparing with a spike factory. Although, if we go with the monkey pirates, we should be fine against round 17 normal mobs. Uh, but round 18, that's probably going to be a bit of a different story, okay? These merchantmen, too, uh, they could do a little bit of pop and power damage for us. But I don't think I could set down any more boats in this little pond of water. That is incredibly unfortunate because I only have four boats right now. Uh, so I guess we'll save up enough money. Or should we go for a spike factory? One of the two will work. Okay, I'm going to go for a spike factory. I'm going to play this safe. I'm going to go for the spike factory all the way down here, by the way, so that it's within range of the alchemist because an alpha spike factory is also pretty good of course we're going for the 302 cross path as well because it's just absolutely elite target that bad boy to close and we should be good and even if i wanted to be aggressive towards this guy there's not really much that i could actually do his defenses are just too much it literally is straight up too much he's been putting majority of his money into those and he's still not even equaling at us right now by the way so although this is a ranked match maybe there's a huge chance that this guy is not going to actually end up rushing us, okay? But I'm going to make sure that I stay pretty consistently aggressive towards him. Like, for example, on round 22, I'm sending him a ZOMG, okay? Just an unfortified ZOMG as well. Because if you send an unfortified ZOMG at a boat player, they have to decide whether or not they want to go for the ultimate Pirate Lord in order to defend against that, all right? And in case you guys don't know, Pirate Lord, I think, is like $21,000. So, Obviously, it is not cheap by any means to go for. He's not equaling. Okay, you, you gotta be kidding me, right? You gotta be kidding me, right? There's no way you're sending us a BFB when I vote. Oh. Oh. No way. There's no way. Okay, so it's gonna be hard to micro, though, because I've got, like, no room. So, come on. Come on. Uh, that's, that's, that's not good. Okay, so you. Uh, Lambo. Bruh. Lambo. Okay, I literally... Guys, I had absolutely no money to micro so that's why this is just kind of looking pretty bad but hey trust the process we are fine uh, i'm in disbelief though that he sent those like what in the world it's just that these boat spots they were so freaking precise guys like it's still hard look at that look at that it is still so freaking hard to pull this off okay we could use that quincy ability right there that will actually help us out oh my god we've got no spike balls now on the map yikes 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 okay now i sent him a zomg by the way so let's get to doing that jesus dude that was ridiculous on how like bad that was or how hard that was to defend against that but i'm gonna go for the 042 cross path on there send him the zomg okay so that's gonna keep him busy for a little bit and let's once again go for this uh favorite trades here and actually another one on top of that so he's gonna use the mob hex ability on that zomg that wow <laughs> I mean, hey, that actually really works out. Um, I don't think he needed to do that, though, because it's unfortified. But I'll send him another one here now, right? I really want him to buy that um, Pirate Lord upgrade because, again, $21,000 for just a $5,000 rush. It would be well freaking worth it, in my opinion, if he ended up doing it. In our sake, that is. Not for his sake because, obviously, yeah, $21,000 for just a $5,000 rush. That is definitely just not worth it, okay? But I'm going to continue on eco in, all right? He's selling some of his boats off. He's probably trying to go for the Pirate Lord or maybe Tax Owner or something. I'm not too sure. He's got to be going for Pirate Lord, right? There's no way that he's not. Oh, my God. He popped it down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't die, my friend, because that is not the goal. That is not the goal, my friend. Okay, there goes the Pirate Lord. It's going to be able to pull, pull three of those. Tower boost that or else you're dead. Um, No, he's fine. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Well freaking done. What is this game? I, I could not tell you. I honestly, truly could not tell y'all. But I'm going to finally go for the Trade Empire as well over on my side because I think that we can get away with it. Obviously, though, here on round 26, he could send us DDTs. Highly doubt he's going to be doing so, though. Because, dude, I've got the Spike Factory. Spike Factory is obviously one of the best ways to defend against DDTs. And one of the easiest as well. Oh, my God. He's actually doing it. There's no way. There's no way that you actually send us round 26 DDTs. Bro, we are in ranked in VFB Coliseum. There's no... <laughs> There's no way. Okay, so maybe it too. I should get to Alc Buff and Quincy, okay? Because, I mean, at this point, just why not? We still have this Lambo, by the way, which is pretty funny. 
Uh, but literally why not? I'm gonna go for a stronger stim on that middle path as well. And he's currently at level 13, all right, with almost 10k pops. So not too shabby, Quincy, not too shabby. I mean, he actually significantly helps us out too with a strategy like this, all right? So by no means am I dogging on him because he actually is doing his fair share of work. So just well done, Quincy. But here on round 28, I would hope that he would not send us um, a DDT rush. That would be pretty dumb because, again, we got the Spike Factory. I could send him all out DDTs right now and honestly probably kill. But that is not the goal with today's video. I really want this guy to send us a round 30, 45 BAD or something of the sorts, okay? Because I honestly think that we can fully, fully defend. So what I'm going to probably do here actually is stop ecoing right at 5200 eco because now we're going to save up a little bit of money in order to better our defenses, all right? Dude, the fact that this boat is just chilling here, I, I can't believe it. Did he just sell that? Did he just sell that? Why would he sell that? Okay, oh, oh, okay, that makes sense. I mean, you kept it up for that long at that point, I feel like you should just keep it, but whatever, to each their own, I guess. Uh, do we dare, we could go for a lot of different things here, by the way. We could go for like an aircraft carrier, we could go for the carpet of spikes, we could go for possibly a super mines even, okay? But I guess for now, we're just gonna be chilling. I mean, we got an out buffed Quincy, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't nothing getting past this man's buff. And round 30 is here, so this should be easy cloud. Oh yeah, okay, forgot that we could also boat pool. The fact that he freaking sent us that still. Oh my God, he is rushing us. Okay, um, I'm gonna level up Quincy just to go all the way to level 20. I know that's such a waste of money, but it's fine. It's literally fine. We're gonna tower boost this as well. Let's use Quincy's level three ability. Oh, Quincy, Quincy, Quincy doing heck. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh wait, I can't even use this. I can't even use that. Wait. Oh my. Oh my God. What's what's doing all the damage? Okay. Bro. What? what? <laughs> Was this Quincy? <laughs> Was that Quincy doing all the damage? Level 20 Quincy just soloed a freaking BAD on round 30. This guy's straight up about to die to AI. He's dead. Oh my god, guys. That is actually absurd. I didn't get to showcase it as much as I wanted to, but you've got to drop a like for that because literally I did. I sold the Pirate Lord and everything. I thought for sure they were going to die, but Quincy was able to defeat the entire BAD pretty much and even the insides. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we showcase the newly buffed Crossbow Master in BC Battles 2 because with this 1.5 update, not only was Quincy buffed, but also the crossbow master. So if you guys would like to check it out, make sure to just click the video on your screen.